What's up everybody, my name is Nick, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you a couple tricks and tips with drill drivers and impact drivers. We're gonna be learning a lot, it's gonna move fast. You're gonna learn a lot of lessons and a lot of tips and tricks that are gonna save you time, money, effort. This tutorial is gonna change the way you look at power tools forever, your power tools. Let's get started. To start off with drill drivers. I'm going to teach you all about this drill driver. This is DeWalt XR Power Detect. This is actually a brand new drill driver off of from DeWalt. I'm a DeWalt fan myself. If you want, leave it down in the comment section which brand of tool do you love the most and uh, which brand of tool do you use the most. These tips and tricks I'm going to share with you today are going to work across all brands of impact drivers and drill drivers. No matter what you use, no matter how much money is in your pocket and what you can afford, this will work for you. Now the biggest difference between a drill driver is going to be the chuck, the chuck at the front, where you chuck in your bits. This is a half inch chuck. The chuck on this drill driver will accept drill bits all the way down to a sixteenth of an inch, but it'll go even smaller than that. Even something as big as this one inch masonry bit is tapered down to fit in this half inch chuck. So most drill bits will work with your drill driver if it's a half inch chuck. So this drill driver is made for exactly what it says. It's made for drilling and driving. So it would also screw drive as well, but it's best at drilling. Don't forget that. This is best at making holes and drilling holes. This has three different speeds. This changes the RPMs of the drill, which will give you a faster rotation depending on what you're drilling in. Now, if you're drilling through wood, generally you want to use high speed. If you're drilling through metal, generally you want to go low speed with a little bit of cutting oil. That's the difference between drilling through different materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck in my 3 8 spade bit. Now these Bosch Daredevil spade bits are made for drilling through wood fast and efficiently. It's not always the cleanest, but it will get the job done. We're set on high speed because remember we're drilling through wood. Above the half inch chuck is going to be your setting ring. Now there's going to be a drill setting. There's also a hammer drill setting on this hammer drill, but for now we're going to be in the drill setting. Did you see how fast that was? That was incredibly fast. Now, if I wanted more control, I could set the speed down lower. I could go to speed two or speed one. I would have more control going through the wood. But generally, you're going to be roughing in with these spade bits, so you want, you want as much speed as possible. So you're going to be using top speed most of the time when using a spade bit. I'm going to teach you a really important tip and trick with the spade bit. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is a Norm Abrams trick, actually. Watch this. Not only will this work on Daredevil spade bits, this will also work on spiral drill bits as well. If you're worried about setting the depth and you can't find the depth, what you can do is you can actually take a marker and draw a line on your spade bit. But if you don't want to ruin your spade bit by drawing a line or, or marking a line with a marking knife, you can use a piece of tape, wrap the piece of tape around the spade bit, and that'll give you your depth. Let's say you need to set some type of anchor in the wood, but you need an exact depth of like a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch. You can mark off where you need it, set your tape there, or draw your line, we're just going to drill to the edge of the tape and we know we have our correct depth setting or where you drew your line on the paddle bit. There you go. Just to the edge of our tape, we know I have our correct depth setting in the wood. And that's the way you can set your depth. It's hard to judge by eye when not, without a mark, but if you use a piece of tape, you can take it right off. You can move it to another drill bit and your drill bit's just as good as the day you bought it. Don't discount the value of painter's tape. It can save you from going too deep. Never go too deep. Always set the correct depth. It's very important. Not only can we drill with a spade style bit, we can also use a spiral style bit. I'm gonna show you a little bit about these spiral style bits. One of the greatest parts about this set of spiral style bits is we actually scored these for $2.50 at Lowe's Home Improvement. It was a crazy sale. I'm gonna let you in on a little something. If you wanna find some of the best tool deals around anywhere on the internet, make sure to get subscribed and click the notification bell. We're always doing tool deals. You can score something like this set for $2.50. We scored a miter saw before for $150. Pretty awesome tool deals here. So as you can see, this set folds out. It's a nice index as well. For $2.50, you can't beat it. Not only will this drill through wood, it'll also drill through metal with a little bit of cutting oil. The tape trick will also work on this if you're trying to set the correct depth. But on high speed, we're able to drill right through the wood. Now you saw how fast that was. This actually ejects the wood chips as it drills through the wood and pulls through. 
really nice. So not only can we drill with this, we can also screw drive with this drill driver. I'm going to show you how you screw drive also with this drill driver. If you just grab a simple magnetic driver bit guide, chuck it into your drill, I'm going to show you where these clutch settings come in handy. So this goes from 1 to 11. This is very important when you're trying to set screws specifically at a specific depth when you're trying to hit flush with the wood. The clutch settings will stop the drill at a specific depth. So a great tip when you're trying to find your correct clutch setting is you start low and work your way up and then you can find your correct clutch setting without blowing through your workpiece, without driving the screw too deep. Start low and work your way up. So we're gonna start at one. Let's see what one does. You saw it, you saw it. It counters sunk and then stopped. Yes. That is the most, that's the worst clutch I've ever seen. On one. This is not a good demonstration of how a clutch works. This DeWalt drill is too powerful. It keeps sinking the screws. I'm gonna have to try something else. This is ridiculous. This clutch is not, it's not, it's, it's not a good, I'm gonna have my assistant demonstrate how a clutch should work and kick in. My assistant's a fan of Milwaukee, just in case you're wondering. The DeWalt's just too powerful, what can I say? You're on single speed. He's on clutch setting one. Watch what happens. He's driving a wood screw. The clutch kicks in, stops the screw, and stops the drill from driving any deeper. Then we move it up a little more. We're testing to see where our clutch. Was that two? Two is almost perfect for sinking that wood screw. Now that is almost perfectly flush with the wood. Perfect, perfectly sunk on the third speed of the clutch. And the Milwaukee did it. The clutch kicked in on the Milwaukee. That is what the clutch settings are for. You're gonna start low and work your way up to find the correct depth setting for your screws when driving screws. This is for delicate work when it's very critical that you cannot make any mistakes and you cannot blow through any materials. Use your clutch settings and work your way up. Now you know what the clutch settings are for and what they're used for. If you're in the market for finding an impact driver or a drill driver and trying to figure out what the best ones are, I'm gonna link a video over here. I actually made a list of the top impact drivers and the top drill drivers. So check those videos out. It'll give you an idea of what level and what price point you should be buying your drill driver or your impact driver at. So we talked about the half inch chuck. We talked about the clutch settings. We talked about the drill setting but there is one more important setting on this drill driver that sets it apart from a regular drill driver. This is also a hammer drill. So we have a hammer setting. Not only will this have high RPMs, but this will add concussive force to our drill driver to drill through masonry. What we have here are Bosch multi-purpose bits. These will drill through brick, tile, masonry, a whole bunch of different materials, even PVC. These are our favorite masonry style bits. They go from 5.30 seconds all the way up to 3 eighths, they'll work perfectly with this DeWalt hammer drill. Let me show you how they work. Now, when you're drilling through masonry, I will advise you're gonna to wanna to use the top speed because when this drill bit is drilling through the head of this drill bit, it's gonna be moving the material up and the faster that material moves, the quicker you're gonna be able to drill your hole and the cleaner your hole will be. Use the top speed when you're drilling through masonry. Let me demonstrate. So, here we go. Look at how fast and easy this makes drilling through concrete. This drill driver sure does have a lot of functionality. Beautiful. You vacuum out that hole, you set your anchor, you're ready to go. And these bits stay sharp, they work great. Bosch multi-purpose bits, perfect for drilling through masonry and concrete. Nowadays, when you're at the big box stores, they're gonna be selling combo kits. Now they're gonna be drill drivers with impact drivers, and they're gonna be coming with batteries. When you buy the combo kit at the big box store, they're most likely gonna be coming with these smaller style, style batteries. These are, this is a 1.3 amp hour. Now the different amp hour battery is gonna determine how long and how much power you get out of your drill driver. What I have on my DeWalt XR is a six amp hour battery running 21700 cells. This is gonna allow me to drill through mostly anything and it's gonna last me pretty much all day. Now, if I had a lesser battery on, like a 1.3 amp hour, this drill driver might only last for a half an hour and then I'm recharging. So remember, always go for a bigger amp hour size battery. It will last longer, you'll get more life out of it, and it'll increase your power with your drill driver. It'll last you longer through the day. They always try to stick you with these little batteries in the kits. 
upgrade to a bigger size battery and make sure you're checking the box to see what amp hour batteries it's coming with. Make sure it's coming with a bigger size amp hour. You'll get more life. Moving on to the impact driver. What is this made for? This is made specifically for driving screws easy, fast, and efficiently. This is gonna take a lot less effort than the drill driver when driving screws. And if you have to drive a lot of screws, I recommend getting an impact driver. This is the DeWalt ECF888. This comes with Bluetooth technology. Look at how, this is how far we've come, people. We've come so far that we're able to put Bluetooth in tools. Pretty soon, these tools will start talking to you. Stop using me so much, you're blowing me out. These tools are gonna tell you like, you know, take it easy, guy. But the biggest difference between this and a drill driver is the collet, the quarter inch metal collet with ball bearings inside. What does an impact driver do? Not only does it spin with the RPMs, it has a hammer and anvil. So it's also, it's spinning, but it's also impacting at the same time, relieving you from putting that effort and force behind screw driving. So you could screw drive with ease. Let me show you. This does not have any clutch settings. So you kind of have to pulse the trigger to get your depth right. But it does have different speed settings, so you can set the depth pretty easily. We're gonna start in speed one, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. This will give you the best control because it's the lowest speed with the impact driver. Remember, this is for driving screws very efficiently and fast. Watch how fast and easy this goes. Now we're impacting. That's it on speed one. It's as far as it'll go, the DeWalt. The I'm using a five amp hour battery. Remember, bigger amp hour batteries will get more work done. Let's go to speed two and see what happens. Will it drive this screw the rest of the way? I think so. Perfect. Perfectly flush and set correctly. You heard all those impacts. I had to push down. I, I, I pretty much used no effort. What? There's no effort. It, it's effortless. While the hammer drill driver might be faster in certain applications when driving screws, the impact driver is a lot less fatigue on the user and it weighs less and it's more compact. Over a day's work, this is going to save your body over time. Things like rotator cuff injuries, you're working up high, you know, from different ailments. You have arthritis, you have a bad shoulder, you have a bad elbow. This will save you the fatigue from using a drill driver. It's a lot more effortless. We're gonna go on top speed now. We're gonna drive a drywall screw. I wanna show you how this looks. Watch how quick this impact driver drives this drywall screw. And it's a perfect depth setting. So I'm here to settle the biggest argument. Can you drill with an impact driver? Now here is the answer, Bosch Daredevil spade bit. If you look closely at the end of this spade bit, there's a quarter inch hex built into the spade bit. What does that mean? That means you can put this into your impact driver and drill a hole. The best thing about drilling with an impact driver is it takes a lot less effort than putting a handle on your drill driver and putting all that elbow grease behind the drill driver to drill your hole you can drill with one hand effortlessly with this impact driver. I'm gonna show you right now, watch. One hand on it. I don't need, I don't need any more than one hand. We're gonna drill this hole. It's gonna be slower, less speed, but it's gonna be a lot easier on you, the user. Now also remember, you can use the tape trick and draw the line trick if you need to set your depth correctly. Five amp hour battery, bigger amp hour. We got plenty of power, plenty of speed. We're on top speed because we're drilling through wood. That is, is pure power. Now, not only that, you can also drill with spiral style bits. This bit is a Milwaukee style spiral fluted speed bore type screw head bit, but it also has a hex shank built into it to accept a collet with a ball bearing. You can plug this into your impact driver and you can also drill with this. Now, watch how fast, easy and efficient this is. Instead of lugging around a big drill driver that's heavy with a big battery, it's also got a big handle on it. It's clunky. It may do it faster, but it's, look at this. This compact package is still drilling. It's a little bit slower, but it's so much easier and so much more efficient on the user. I, you can't argue with that. Let's see, watch. I'm literally, I literally have one finger on the trigger. 
Are you, like I have one, I'm pulling the trigger with one finger, the rest of my hand is off. It's, this is doing all the work for me. And it takes you using all the force of your body away from it because the tool is doing the work for you. And that's really what we want. Can you drill with an impact driver? Of course you can, and it's smart to, if you ask me. I'm sure in the comment section, I'm gonna get the old fart that says, and you should drill with an impact driver, it's not meant for it. We're in 2020, pops, okay? They're building quarter-inch collets for these, these drill bits. You can drill with an impact driver, and if you're not doing it, something's wrong with you. I think you're dumb. The great thing about impact drivers today is you used to have to pull up the collet to insert your bit and take it out. Now we have quick insert collets with impact drivers. You just plug your bit in, you're ready to go. I'm going through this wood, and I'm going through effortlessly. It's awesome. put no force behind that. None at all. For comparison's sake, I'm gonna hold the drill driver with two fingers. I'm gonna show you what that takes. We have our drill driver. We're set on drill setting. We're set on top speed. We're drilling through wood. Watch, this thing is so much heavier already. It's ridiculous. Granted, we have a six amp hour battery on it, but it's so much heavier, the hammer drill. Then plus the handle, the metal handle, it's gonna add even more weight. Watch how much effort, more effort this is gonna take. This is gonna whip me, this is gonna be nuts. Compared to a drill driver, watch what happens. Two fingers. I'm just gonna do this. I mean, that drill bit's just mean. What the heck? Ready? I'm gonna go into this, uh, Six by six pressure tree. This this will do it. Two fingers. I mean, that's just mean. Okay. Here we go. Getting the drill bit out. I have to put two hands. It will not let me. It's whipping me around. I can't get the drill bit out. I have to put. Now I could probably put it down at low speed and pull it out. Let's we'll see what happens. You, ow, that hurt. Look at that torque on that thing. I'm gonna go to two. I'm gonna put two hands on it. I'm not using one hand anymore. The torque on this is ridiculous. You saw the difference. It whipped me around trying to pull it out. Busted my knuckle. Now, I wanna show you pretty much a cheap trick. This is gonna be a cheap trick. Watch this. Let's say, for argument's sake, you have a stripped screw and some wood. It's sticking up though. This drywall screw, we're gonna pretend the head is stripped. We can't get it out. What are we gonna do? This is a cheap trick. I don't recommend doing this. If you have to, if you're desperate, or you're in a situation where you need to remove a screw real quick, you can do this trick, but don't do this repeatedly. This is not good for your drill driver, but it'll work. What you can do is chuck your drill driver on top of the screw head. Make sure your chuck is super tight or else you will rip up your chuck. If your chuck is tight enough on that screw, you can remove that stripped screw. That's just a cheap trick I wanted to show you if you're desperate in a situation. Also, I have another trick for you. You need to drill a hole, but you don't have a drill bit on hand. You have a screw though. You have a drywall screw. This will work with pretty much any type of screw, metal screw, whatever you have. The screw, you're gonna set it down on some type of material, soft material. You're gonna bang that screw head flat. So we banged it flat. Now what are we gonna do? We need to drill a quick hole. You chuck the screw into your drill driver and you're drilling holes. You're drilling holes without a drill bit. You need a quick, easy drill bit. It's not the best, it's not the most efficient, but it's a way. It is a way. So I wanna ask everybody who's viewing this video a, a big favor. If you could, if you have any more tips and tricks for beginners, any level, leave it down in the comment section below. If I left anything out of this video, please make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. I hope you've learned something here today, the difference between a hammer drill driver and an impact driver. If you had to live with one, the argument is, if you had to choose one over the other, which will get the job done the most? The answer used to be, the one and only, you would pick the hammer drill driver. But today, with technology and the quarter inch hex shank on most drill bits, 
I'm saying pick up an impact driver. Most drill bits will work with this impact driver today. And that's the difference. Back in the day, impact drivers were just for driving screws, but not anymore. These are for drilling and effortlessly drilling today. So if I had to choose one, I go impact driver all day. Leave it down in the comment section below if you disagree with me, if you agree with me, if you learned something, let me know. I appreciate you all for being here. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.